Okay, hi there, this is Kim Willis, and uh, I'm going to answer a question today. And the question is this. What should I do if I only had $1,000 to invest in a home business, work from home program or something like that? What would I do if I only had $1,000? I'll come up with what I think is a reasonable answer. Here it is. In fact, I've got two options. One is to become an affiliate for a company that doesn't require any upfront cash. So you might go on to ClickBank, for instance, and look for some products there within a, a niche that interests you, and then you can market those, that product or those products and make an affiliate commission. You won't be making huge money because the commissions will tend to be on the small side because the price of the products is on the, on the low side. Okay, But it's a good way to get started if you haven't got much money. Uh, you wouldn't spend any money on advertising. Here's what I would do. I would set up a blog and I would create content for that blog revolving around the product. I'd do product reviews for instance. And and, and I might handle more than one product. I, I could handle half a dozen and I would create product reviews for each of them. Now if it's uh, if the domain name for the blog is a new domain name it's going to take about six months before uh, you get indexed by Google, so don't expect any traffic until then. In the meantime, you'd create some videos, uh, review type videos, put them up on YouTube, okay? And you can potentially get those videos ranked very quickly. And then what you'd do is you'd put the video onto your blog and you've got the basis for uh, a good blog post. Add a bit of text at the beginning, uh, top and tail it with, uh, with text. So that's, that's one option. Another option, this particularly works if you have a skill, in fact, it only works if you have a skill, and that is uh, you'd become accredited with uh, platforms such as Upwork or even Fiverr, and you would offer your skills to people that are looking for those skills. And uh, if your skill is valuable and you price it right, you can create income. My own son is doing this at the moment, and he's getting more work than he can handle. Okay, so. Go to, go to those uh, sites, have a look and see what other people are doing. Upwork and Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. Fiverr, there, is, uh, there are perhaps more limitations as to how much, in terms of how much income you can make uh, compared to Upwork. But if you've got a skill, that's the point, if you've got a skill, you can uh, leverage that skill and get some work happening. If you want to go one step further with that skill and you don't want to have your income necessarily capped you, and you're good at marketing, you could promote yourself and cut out the middleman. Okay, Cut out the middleman, promote yourself as a consultant specializing in that particular area that you are skilled in. So that's another way that you can get started. Once again, you're not spending any money on advertising. All right. And then the third, the third method that you can use is to um, perhaps get involved with an affiliate program that pays a bigger commission because they're promoting bigger ticket uh, commissions, uh, bigger than say ClickBank, right? ClickBank, you know, what do they sell? Ebooks and, and the like. Find a product that is has a higher price point. It may require a bit of buy-in money from you, but I'm not talking about the big top tier programs. I'm talking about something that, that's uh, certainly lower down than that. But if you could find something that offers commissions of say a couple hundred dollars instead of fifteen, twenty dollars, that could work quite well. Uh, if your buy-in was only five hundred dollars or something like that, you've still got five hundred dollars left. I still wouldn't do any advertising. I'd be using organic methods. So it'd be blogging, video marketing, etc. Uh, so I'd keep that five hundred dollar in reserve, you've spent the $500 on the program, keep the $500 in reserve, uh, use it to pay for hosting, etc., buy a domain name and all the rest of it. Take a six month view. Don't expect any quick results. Six to 12 months, it's a six to 12 month project and uh, that would be another great option. Find a bigger ticket program that doesn't require a big uh, financial outlay and then take a six to 12 month uh, approach. Don't expect quick dollars. 12 months, nothing wrong with that. Most traditional businesses take years before they're producing uh, a profit. Okay, so if you can do it in six to 12 months, fantastic. So, I hope you got something out of that.
that answers the question, or that's, at least that's my answer to the question, what to do if you only had $1,000 to invest in getting a business up and running. Enjoy it. Go and grab my, um, my traffic and lead generation training uh, by going to my blog. A link should be underneath this video. Okay, this is Kim Willis. Bye for now.